Hi, my name is Leah Reed and welcome to or back to my channel. This is a mini tutorial on how to do crochet soft locks. So the first thing I do, um, I like to do is I like to part from ear to ear. So that's what I'm going to do first. And this is me showing the parting. I parted a little bit behind the ear all the way across to the other ear. Um, I'm showing you it right now. I sold it down so you could really see what the parting looks like. And yeah. So the next parting I do is um, right above the ear all the way across to the other ear. And then after that, I'll show you what other parting I did. Okay, after you're done with that, you're going to um, split the section you just parted in half. And then that's going to be your fo fo first row of um, locks. I like using new locks and spring twist hair. So I use four packs of new locks um, in the colors too. And then I don't know what color was the blue. I showed you in the video. Yeah, you see it right there. And um, for the blue... We couldn't find any blue in spring twist hair, so we had to use water wave hair. And I did not like water wave hair. It was too um, soft and it was, um, it kept slipping out her hair. Okay, as you can see, I split this section down the middle, so it's going to start off with four locks in this row. a little loop at the start of the lock so you're going to want to use your fingers to open it up because you're going to use this to um loop it into the braid because we're not using crochet hook we're just going to braid it in so you're going to take your first section and start braiding it down since this is not this um soft locks we're going to um add the lock further down instead of right at the root so that's what i'm going to do so when i get further down enough i'm going to simply um grab the lock and Put the hair through it, flip it up, and continue to braid down. Also, you do not have to braid the braid all the way down. Just braid it enough where the lock won't fall out because all the hair is getting, um, wrapped up with the um, twist hair so it doesn't need to be braided all the way down and it will save time.
Okay, here's the water wave hair that I don't like. So to start off with the lock, you want to start right at the base. And you want to wrap it around um, about... Normally, I wrap it around like four times to make, her, to make sure it's secure. But since it's water wave hair and it was slipping out and my sister's hair is soft, so it was slipping out even more. I wrapped it like way more times than that to make sure it was secure. But anyways, make sure you do that. And then you just start going down and keep wrapping it. So um, when I started off the lock, I didn't use the ends of the spring twist hair to start wrapping. I left a little bit out so it won't slip out. I don't know if you understand, but I'll show you again later. don't use any nail glue so to um, secure the end of the lock I just tie it in the loop and I pull it down and I just wrap it back up to tie the loop you just wrap the um, hair around your finger and pull it through that's all wrapping the hair you don't have to wrap um wrap it tightly and so close together you can leave little spacings so the um, lock won't be um hard and so it'll be soft and manageable sister got um different color locks from the um wrapping here i had to wrap the locks all the way down to the bottom so if you ever um mix up the two colors of the lock and wrapping here you could just wrap it all the way down to the bottom <laughs> Okay, now we're going to be going to the next section and we're going to be bricking. To brick, all you have to do is part in the middle of the um, section you did before. So as you see, the first lock that I did, I parted down the middle of that and that started my first um, section at the top. So you just want to keep parting down the middle, middle of the previous locks and then I'll be bricking. Um, I'm going to finish this row and then I'm going to come back to show you how I parted the front. <music>
Okay, I normally have five um, sections on each side at the top. And to do that, I take the um, comb and I press it against her forehead. And wherever the comb stops at, that's where I start my first parting. So you can see I did that. And then the first row that I'm parting out right now is going to have two locks. And then the row above it is going to have three. So that will be the second row. Then the third row is going to have three again. And then the last two rows are going to have four locks in them. Okay, here's the first two rows in the front completed. And then I'm gonna go and show you how I parted the back. So for the back, it's really easy. Since you already parted the front, all you have to do is connect the parts for the front to the back. So as you can see, um, the second row in the front, all I have to do is go straight across to the other side to the second row to the other side of the front. And then that will be my party. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so I finished the locks and I already oiled her scalp off camera. So I'm going to take some shining jam mousse and I'm going to put mousse on her scalp and on the locks as well. And I'm going to spray um, the locks with gossip and some spritz. And then I'm going to take some um, wrapping strips and lay it down on her head and let it dry. She was rushing, so I couldn't take any good photos or videos. But here's the video of the photos that I could get. I have better ones on my Instagram, so you can go on there and look at Hair by Lee. But this is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Bye.